Thanks for joining us everyone. I'm Ann McGill. Just after midnight, port workers all across the East Coast hit the picket lines. The strike comes after negotiations between the U.S. Maritime Alliance and the International Longshoremen's Association were stalled. The main goal for these workers is to receive a better wage package and protections against automation. Last night, the U.S. Maritime Alliance said it had increased offers to 50 percent raises over six years and pledged to keep limits on automation in place from the old contract. But the union wants a complete ban on automation. ILA members currently make a base salary of about $81,000 a year, but some can pull more than $200,000 annually with large amounts of overtime time. Uh, it's been on almost 50 years since we had our last strike and uh, unfortunately no one wants to go on strike but we're at this point now and we have to do what we have to do. We just have to make sure that we're being compensated fairly and that uh, automation is not taking jobs and that we have a safe environment to work in. The ILA Local 1422, which represents port workers in Charleston, wrote in a statement that despite the tireless work of union members during the pandemic, employers still refuse to compensate workers fairly. With the strike now underway, the repercussions could have major effects on those recovering from Helene. U.S. Senator Tim Scott shared a social media post yesterday saying workers should pause that strike. He said as Americans, it is our duty to help those in need and the strike will greatly disrupt our supply chain and economy, only worsening the pain of those who have already lost everything.